Um, young Sam Roberts, uh, you were you were crowing over a, a clip that I definitely want to hear. Yeah. Apparently, you got a couple of clips of a hijinks on the old school bus. Yes. Well, one is a a prank that a mean uh, school bus driver pulled on all the kids. Yeah. On April Fool's Day. And then the other is a chaperone freaking out on the kids. Well, I saw one. Um, I don't think it's one of these. But I, I saw one. It was a pretty long one, too. There's a video of uh, two black kids on a bus just giving the, the monitor, a white, like, kind of old woman monitor on mm -hmm. the bus a fuck of a time. Like, fuck you, bitch, right in the face. <laughs> right in the face. This little fucking kid. He had to be like three feet tall, and he's just walking up to him going, yeah, well, fuck you, bitch. So the bus driver's like, like fuck this. He pulls over, calls the cops, and, and now the woman's going, why don't you tell the police that now? I tell the police anything, you fucking bitch. Jesus. Fuck your face. Yeah, and he's and like, a little kid? dude, he had to be like third grader. It was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was insane. Yeah, that's uh, online. We'll we'll find it at some point and uh, cut it up because it's like twenty minutes long. I watched the Jesus. whole thing. I was I was howling. Where'd you find it? Um, on uh, the uh, the uh, internet. Oh, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't remember where it was. Probably Live Leak or something, or maybe you know World Star. Yo, World Star Hip Hop. Eric says we might didn't we that. do that one already? Was I out that day? I don't know. It was an older lady, older white lady, right? And the camera's just mostly on her, and the kids are yelling at her in front not, of her. Not yeah. that, I don't think I don't think he's talking about the giant. News story that no, the old white-haired lady. Oh, it wasn't okay. the one where they were at where she wound up getting money. Yeah, for being no, it wasn't that one. Okay. You would have realized her? that you'd already. Oh, seen Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't that one. It's some little black kid just fucking railing on this woman. Oh, it was classic. Uh, but you got a couple of uh, good ones here. Yeah, one, what's, one what's they're the, on the way to a bar mitzvah. And what, wait, what's the first one? What kind of calls that the bus driver does? Uh, this is it's a prank. It's an April Fool's Day prank. <sighs> Oh, why is it Edgar What's here? What's the matter, Edgar? I used to, <laughs> <laughs> I used to drive a skull bus. A skull bus? Yes, I did. I didn't. Yeah? That was your job? Yeah? <sighs> I was driving and I said, hey, look, I'm driving a boat. And then I looked and said, apple fine. Oh. I, I don't know what to say. Just the sound of his voice gives you I know. Shows. Now it's like, it's it's hard to listen to. It's like disgusting. He's like wheezing and coughing. His teeth are dry. <laughs> a skull bus. Skull bus, so, yeah. There so was, this is the clip. It's, uh, he did it on April Fool's, but it's taken him this long, I guess, to put it online. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a school bus driver. Yeah. Apparently there's been a problem over the week and there is a water break or a main or something. I have no idea. I'm going to die? Nobody's going to die, but listen. Uh, apparently what we're going to do is because you guys are one school and they can't make up one day with one school, I'm going to pull around, we're going to drop you off, you're going to go in, you're going to check in. Then the bus are going to line up just like they do at the end of the day, they're going to bring you back out. We're bringing you back home. Apparently you get another day of... <laughs> Oh, my God. Hey, stop yelling! <laughs> wow, they're all excited. Oh, yeah. guy's getting a little too involved with the kids. Just oh, drive yeah. the fucking bus. That's creepy. He got so much joy out of it. He did. Yes, Edgar. Hey, I made that announcement. No, you didn't. He did. He said, hey, the school got blown into the clouds. <laughs> and did, oh. 
Were they cheering and, and laughing when... Oh, I don't like... What's going on with your neck when you do that now? Your head's twisting around like a fucking buzzard. <laughs> April Falls. I don't like Edgar's new uh, new moves. No, I don't confidence. like his new his, yeah. his new moves. It's either confidence or deteriorating health. I don't yeah. Know. Apparently he's been hanging out with Chip because now Edgar's all jokes. Yeah. Jokes. All jokes. All jokes. Uh... That, wow. guy didn't, that guy didn't get in trouble for that, did he? Not so far. I mean, yeah, good. you know, I don't know if uh, the parents are probably going to... Some parents are going to be mad at him for posting it on YouTube, I would assume. Oh, because you could see kids' faces? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to be mad. I don't know. Yeah, the, the bus drivers just drive the bus. I remember being traumatized by uh, Eddie Spaghetti with the meatball eyes. Right. Uh, as a kid, my bus driver he would pick me up there, take me to school, and... Uh, and the door would open, and, you know, as a kid, you just kind of, the door opens, you look up those bus stairs and see the driver, and he's kind of looking down at you, with hand on that stupid door opener handle, and he would have his eyelids, his top eyelids, rolled back, so you could see, like, the red yeah. under yeah. the eyelid meat, and they would stay like that, like, he was able to just put him there and stay like that. And his, every, all the kids called him Eddie Spaghetti with the meatball eyes because he had meat, meatball eyes. Eddie Spaghetti, I don't know why. Maybe his name was Eddie Spaghetti. Didn't make any sense. Mm -mm. But he had the meatball eyes. And, and I remember I never wanted to walk past Eddie Spaghetti with meatball eyes because of his meatball eyes. Yeah, when so I, just drive. We had a school bus driver that used to insult all the kids when they got on the bus. Like really? he always had some kind of like joke about him. Oh. But everybody thought he was a creep. Like he had a very sort of pedo vibe about him because oh, he kept yeah. talking to the kids yeah yeah like any if you're doing anything besides driving the bus you're weird any uh adult in the setting of uh, having to work at a school or a sports program anything right janitor that they're in a school uh, that t talks to the kids and the kids know the person right check into that just do your job check into that if all the kids know like hey it's look it's fucking bob the janitor Hey, bye. And they walk by, and the kids go, hey, Bob. And he's like, hey, how you doing? And he's talking <laughs> with the girls in front of gym class and things like that. Watch him. But you should probably look into that. It's probably a problem. Why would anybody want to be social with children? Well, they're lovely you people. If, uh, if they're uh, in high school and you want to have sex with them. Sure. That's one thing. But then you're in that position where you're, in, in, you're you know, working in the school. You're not allowed. No. I mean, I would think that all parents would no matter what grade their child is in, we uh -huh. hope that the faculty is not having sex with them. Right. Even yeah. if it's legal, even if they're yeah. 18 in high school, yeah. their parent probably doesn't want the faculty having sex with them. Exactly. I would think. Yeah. Especially when they lay down for nap time. Oh, don't do On that the little school. mats. Mr. Hoggis, there's a powdery substance in his milk. <laughs> I didn't put it there. What, were people were putting, like, roofies in the milk? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody don't know. fell asleep. Oh. Oh. On Jeez. the mat. Hey, look, Garfield's on the mat. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Edgar? That's <laughs> I, me. I, oh, that's Uncle Paul. Yeah. Thought, is that Jim Norton coughing? No. Because I thought it was part of the Edgar character. Jim Norton's got to be at the stress factory. He's healthy. Oh. Stress Factory, when? <coughs> Tonight through Sunday. Nice. Go see Jim Norton at the Stress Factory. Tonight through Sunday. I feel like fucking Tommy the Mobster in, in Raging Bull. I can't sell out a gig in my old fucking neighborhood. It's embarrassing. Oh. He's embarrassing me in front of certain oh, people. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, there's apparently another um, yeah. hijinks on the school bus. The other clip. Is a bunch of kids coming back from a bat mitzvah? Bat mitzvah. And I guess the girl's older brother is the chaperone. Uh huh. And some girl's kid, older brother. Some kid threw like a gumball or an M and M or something at the bus driver. Uh oh. And the chaperone flips the fuck out. Crazy Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Who did it? Do it again, you fuck, and you're fucked. Oh. This driver will kill you. He will kill you. <laughs> One more time, you will die. You will bleed out of your fucking nose. That's right, I'm spitting in your fucking eyes. <laughs> Ever do that again, you will die. Got it? Death. <laughs> fuck. Spoiled fuck. Spoiled fuck. Do it again, and you're dead. Did you learn your fucking lesson? Ever again. You fucking 
spoiled brat. That's right. Don't ever do it again. And I know it's you. You cocky little shit. Yeah, it was an accident. You purposely threw it at our heads. You want these kids to die? Door first. Out this fucking door. Welcome to my world. <laughs> you fuck. How do you feel now? Like a piece of spoiled shit. <laughs> oh. Little piece of shit. You learn something, boys? Fucking spoiled brats. All of you. Fucking throwing hard things at people who are driving the bus to save your life. All right. Get it. That is an angry Jew. He got really upset. He <laughs> reminds me of... Uh, who was he, the older brother of one of them? Yeah, yeah the older brother of the girl whose bot mitzvah was. He reminds me of the guy yelling at his cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will end you! <laughs> think she was embarrassed? I would think so. What a douche. I know. Just shut up. You know what? Uh, strangely enough, he sounded a little like a Nazi. You, you know? think so? Ah, uh, death! I would kill you! Yeah. Yeah? He's I sounding think... a little, you know... The Jewish people are known for more of their um, softness, not this compassion, Jew, compassion, and uh, more soft-spoken. This guy's hard as Negotiating things out, right. not using brute force, unless, of course, you're talking about those Israelis, because they're batshit crazy. Or the bear Jew. The bear Jew. Yeah. Right. Him yes. too. <laughs> yeah. Shalom. Yeah. yeah. Chava yeah. Nagila. I was wandering the desert. I'm the bear Jew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor dead Steve. Roar. Oh. How did I die? Yes, aw. Oh, poor Steve. You're in my fucking temple. I miss, I miss Steve. I do too. He was a fun guy. He was. Mm. There was nothing mean about Steve no. at all. Oh, he loved little Sam too. Remember Lil Sam? He said you had candy in your head. Yes, yeah. I do. Isn't that adorable? Yep. I was annoyed by it, actually. Then it upgraded oh, to you? you have candy in your balls and <laughs> suck it out. <laughs> <laughs> if you could see the disappointing man you've grown into. Exactly. <laughs> big sound. Yeah. Yeah. Unshaven, red-faced idiot. Yeah, you, you didn't even have, like, razor stubble back then. No. We watched you get fucking razor stubble, and now yep. you got a lot of it. Yeah. You got, yeah. like, a fucking 930 shadow. You look like the editor in Spider-Man comic books. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb stubble. <laughs> Jay Jonas, whatever his name was. Jay Jonah Jameson. Uh, oh, you doesn't have to call me Jay Jonah Jameson. <laughs> yeah, you can call me something else, right, Ant? Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what I was getting at. 